Hey, friends and family, so excited to talk with you and just to really catch up. Um, it's been a little while since I reached out to you guys and honestly, it's just been crazy over here in my mission, in my calling with Youth With A Mission. Um, yeah, just so grateful to be here um, from doing the DNA conference to training uh, as a staff member for the Discipleship Training School, um, as well as working in the mobilization office, uh, the recruitment of students, as well as shepherding them into hearing God's voice. It's just been a crazy time. Um, and now we're in full swing in our discipleship training school. So we're in week three. Um, pardon any of the background noise. People are playing spike ball and it's hard to find a quiet spot. But uh, we're in week three. So at this point, we've gone through uh, hearing God's voice. A whole week on that, we've gone through relationship with Jesus. That was week two. And then uh, we just finished last week the Father Heart of God. Um, so it's just been actually incredible breakthrough for every single one of our students, um, even on week one. Um, and if you saw my email, I, I talk a, a lot about how um, just like we, we had to go through quarantine stuff. Um, so we had our students take two COVID tests, one test prior to coming and then one test seven days after arrival just to clear them from um, any chance of having COVID-19 in our community. And uh, so we had two weeks of school for our students on, on Zoom, <laughs> which was crazy. It was crazy to do that. But um, just in week one, even day one, day two, people were o opening up in vulnerability to their one-on-ones, to their one-on-ones as well as um, just in class, people were opening up. And, and there's just this warrior's heart and spirit in every single one of our students, this pioneering spirit. Um, and it, honestly, it's just been a huge honor to be a part of that journey with this, these students. So I'm so grateful that many of you have decided to support me financially as well as through prayer. Um, right now, I am 75% uh, to my goal of my, my long-term financial goal as a missionary, which is incredible. Um, so if any of you would like to be a part of that, um, I'll, I'll have some links down below. Um, but yeah, God's just been moving. Like, I'll share one story. Um, one student during week one was just sharing how, like, he had never heard the voice of God and he always has background noise on all the time. And he's like, you know what, I'm going to, um, I, I'm going to really try to listen to his voice. And, and God met him. And, and when he sat in this place of silence, he wanted to hold on to a word. Um, and he chose the word truck. But when he actually entered into that time, the word trust came into his mind. And he just could not let go of that word trust. And he just realized that God was speaking that word to him. And it was God's invitation to him to trust that he is hearing from the Lord and that he needs to trust the Lord in this season. Um, yeah, so just amazing stuff. Like God is just moving. Um, God is, yeah, he's really just um, transforming lives. And I'm grateful that you all have said yes. Many of you said yes to financial support to help me to be able to do this. Um, because I could not do this without the body, the, the body, you know, the body of Christ coming together to uh, enable me to do this. Um, yeah, so it's just been an incredible mission. And actually for outreach, we will be doing our outreach. Uh, normally we do outreach, which is like, uh, you know, doing, it's like the missionary aspect of like going to the nations. Um, normally we do that in another country, but this time we're actually going to be doing it inter-island. So we're going to do it on the Hawaiian Islands for this outreach, which is incredible because there's actually eight Hawaiian Islands. Um, so yeah, God is just doing so much like, sorry for the truck in the background. Um, yeah, it's just incredible. I feel so called to Hawaii. Um, so to be able to do outreach in Hawaii is inc an incredible gift to me. Um, 
So if any of you guys have any questions, if any of you would like to have dialogue more about like uh, what is Youth with a Mission, what is my mission, um, how does this all work, where do the finances go? E any of those types of things, like I would love to dialogue about that. Um, and if you if you are looking for God's calling and will in your life, I'd love love to have a discussion about that too, because I definitely um, love to pastor and shepherd others into hearing God's voice um, and His will for your life. So, other than that, like guys, have a great day. Um, please pray for my team to really be rooted in the truth and to continue to let our faith rise in my staff team as well as the students. Um, and that God would just continue to plow the way with vulnerability and openness in our hearts, in our minds. And um, yeah, that God, we would give God that space to move um, and that we would trust him and that I would trust him through this season, through every season, um, and that I would continue to grow in my confidence in who I am. All right, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless.